Yo, what's up guys? It's Purple Grizzly, and I have another Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary for you. Uh, in this game, I was actually doing a little bit of sniping, a little bit of quick scoping, some snippering on, on the map Liberation, playing Drop Zone. I, I really love Drop Zone. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely a... Um, it's it's not really a try-hard game type, if you know what I mean. It's uh, I mean, you're going to find some annoying players, but it's a really fun game type just to hop in and uh, play with your friends. But that's not what the commentary is about today. I'm going to be telling you guys a little live story about my very first drift. And if you're a guy and you uh, you know a little bit about cars, you know what, you should know what drifting is. Uh, if you Also, if you've seen the movie, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, uh, that's... So you, so you understand what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like a drift of wind or, you know, someone, old lady farts and it drifts towards you. Um, I, <laughs> I'm talking about a car drift where, uh, where you go around a sharp corner and what you do is you handbrake and um, your car almost like it pretty much slides around the corner. It's like, I can't even describe it. It's just, it's pure magic. Um, and that actually happened to me the very first time the other day. Uh, so let me ahead and tell you guys uh, like how it happened. Um, it was free pancake day at IHOP, and my friend Avery and I were like, okay, we're hanging out, we're like, we're gonna go to get some pancakes. Um, and we were at my, our, uh, our youth group that Tuesday night, hanging out, and, um, it, it was over, and so we're like, free pancakes at IHOP, let's go! And, uh, there were a lot of people going to it, so we, we kinda got in my car, I was driving, Avery was, a uh, riding passenger, and... Um, after we left this uh, the building, we continued down the road, and there's this really sharp turn. That uh, it's one of those turns where there's a sign to tell you to go 25 miles per hour. Um, and but I wasn't. We were going really fast. <laughs> go get some pancakes. You know, it's for a good cause. Um, and the thing is, like an hour before that, it was snowing very lightly. I live in California, Northern California, and uh, so it snows it snows a little bit every every time of year around now. Um, and it wasn't like heavy snow, but it was kind of like slush snow, like a barely sprinkling snow. And so that got the roads nice and slippery. And I hit this 25 mile an hour corner at about 35 to 40, which was not smart. I do not advise doing that at all. And I, I make this left turn. It was turning left. And I felt the back side of the car just kind of like somewhat. I don't even know. Like I didn't. It's almost like I didn't feel the tires. It's almost like we were gliding along the road and it was I, I can't even describe the feeling it was pure magic um, obviously you know to really drift you got a handbrake and, and turn properly but the only reason that happened for me was because of the snow um, but it was like I really felt like we were floating there and I it was like everything was in slow motion and uh, there was a little bit of hang time and I after the turn I was like I look at my friend Avery he's looking at me he's like did that just happen? I'm like, yes, it did. And that was magic because I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's just because I'm a guy and I think that's awesome drifting. I don't know if it's because I'm a little bit newer to driving. Even though I'm like 18, I uh, I just like got my license a couple months ago, which <laughs> kind of sad. But yeah, it was like, it was, it was one of those experiences that's like, it's not really a big deal, but you'll never forget about it. Um, and that was my first drift. You know, I'll be on my deathbed, say, 70 years from now, I'll be, you know, laying on my bed, about ready to die, my whole family surrounded me, and I'll just, I'll be thinking, like, man, that drift was sick. That was a sick drift, and I'm so glad that that happened. So I hope you enjoyed today's story, I hope you enjoyed, um, that little tale I told, and you got some enjoyment out of it. Um, it's really funny, too, because the next day, it was snowing really hard, it was the first time it actually, like, legitimately snowed here. And I was driving down the street, just got out of the bank, and my car like starts swerving and it turned side like completely sideways. I went from straight, from vertical to horizontal, and it was like, whoa, this is sketch, and I almost pissed my pants. Um, but that's a whole other story. So, yeah. Also, um, wanted to let you guys know that I do have a Twitter and I do have a Facebook. Um, if you want to like get in contact with me, those are really good ways to do it. So you'll find those down in the description box. Those are also uh, both like really good ways to um, to get to play with me because often I will I'll tweet it out or I'll Facebook it like, hey, I need some teammates. Send a message to Purple Grizzly for an invite and stuff like that, or just do open lobbies and it's a lot of fun. I do like to play with my subscribers. Um, one of the benefits of being a smaller channel at the moment 
is uh, I actually can, you know, manage it to uh, be able to talk to most of you guys, be able to play with you guys, and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, talk, be chill, and chat, and talk about life, and deep things, and what kind of tattoos we're going to get on our inner thighs. I also stated in my recent Overwatch gameplay uh, that I'm going to be starting up my subscriber series again. My friend Dylan is actually doing that. Took it from me, but no big deal. I still love him. He's my favorite little prepubescent commentator. Uh, but yeah, the way this works is you send me a YouTube message of a situation, some like complicated thing, funny or serious, that's going on in your life. Um, send me a message, and you know what? I will give you some advice on what to do to the best of my ability. And I will make a commentary on it. And yeah, so that'd be cool if you uh, if you want to do that, you know what to do. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary. It was a little more of a chill, relaxed one. And uh, look at this montage kill cam. Oh snap! <laughs>